Not long after the January 12 tornado spread damage all across Selma and Dallas County, local artist Joe Taylor had the idea to help the community heal and bring people together by creating a mosaic from the broken china and ceramic pieces that were left by the tornado. Kind of like bringing the pieces together to create something new. She was inspired by a piece that her friend, mosaic artist Linda Munzo, did after the April 11, 2011 tornadoes. Munzo says she's going to help with this project, too. Taylor put out a call for broken pieces, and they started coming in. As you can see, there's some absolutely beautiful pieces that we can use for our mosaic. I posted a rough draft of it. I think mm -hmm. you have a picture of it. I believe so. You might want to you know, put it with this right. to show people where we're going. We've had things like this come in. We can use the browns. We can yeah. use the reds. We've had tile pieces like this. We can use it. Lots of beautiful blues. We've got light colors with white. And then we've got some rimmed ones with a little black in it. Then we've got some black and white pieces, some cream color pieces, and what stripes, beautiful greens. Oh yeah, I love the greens. Beautiful greens. The greens and the got. blues are my favorite. <laughs> yeah. And uh, here's a few little red. Oh yeah. Uh, got a little bit of red. And you've even got some butterflies, you said. That's yes. a major component of your design. Yes. One so of the, one of the pots, one of the pots had butterflies on it. E yeah. yeah, that's just so cool. Yeah, we can be able to use that. Martha Lockett gave this piece wanting us to use the little flowers. Oh, yeah. This was broken during the tornado. Taylor is adamant about the pieces being from the tornado and willingly donated. And even though there's quite a lot of broken pieces donated already, there's still plenty of room for more. We've got some bigger pieces where people had, some of them had broken and they didn't have the whole set. Right. So we've got a lot, but... If you still want to be a part of this, please bring it to Gallery 905. And when will you be here to, to receive I'll it? be here on Mondays. Mm -hmm. I, and then the gallery is open from 11 until 4. Please leave your name and your contact information because the people that give pieces are going to be the first ones to work on the, the panel. Right. The first ones to work on the mosaic. The, we're shooting for May the 6th, first Saturday, Selma for people to come and start working on the mosaic. What actually are you gonna call the project? Well, we're leaning toward the title, Bit But Not Broken. Mm -hmm. And the reason is, I was looking at tornado damage pictures, and during, in one of the tornado damage pictures on Google, it showed sculptures, metal sculptures in Texas, that the metal, big metal pieces came up twisted and bent. And so my idea for the bridge came that that side of the bridge that for the tornado on the city side was bent and then it went straight. Yeah. And I kept talking about being bent but not broken and Linda Munoz, the artist was here and so was Becky Youngblood when we were discussing it and they said, that's got to be the title. We that's like that. Great. So I think that's what we're gonna name it. Not in stone yet, but not it's in stone the yet. working title. Working title. Bent but not broken. Excellent. Mm -hmm. And that's where it came from. I'm Todd Prater, and this is the Black Belt News Network.